Good evening. I'm sitting here making me a, another A-Rig. See, there it is right there. See? See how short that is? See how little that is? I don't want no big old umbrella. I want a little bit small one. And what I'm doing right now, you don't want them, look, you don't want them clips on there. Just go ahead and take that off. If you buy one, just go ahead and take that off. And that's actually what this is. This is actually, this is actually one I bought. I ain't never caught a fish with it. I could never give them to hit it. So I'm going to try something different. See if I can give him to hit it. And what you want to do is, uh, let me show you. I'm going to put one on here. See? I put that big stainless steel O-ring on there. That's what you want on there. Because them stripers, when they hit it, they're going to tear it all to pieces. All right, now what I do, what I do, you see the bottom part is kind of fat. I mean, that's just plastic, so it really don't mean nothing. But, but you see how I made it? It's totally straight. See there? It's a cross. It's totally straight with each other. But you see that one right there at the bottom? The way I do it, I take this one. This is a quarter ounce. And I put this one on the bottom. That's to make it run straight. If you ain't got some weight on one of them, it ain't gonna run straight. I don't care what nobody says. You gotta have some weight on it. And most times the ones you buy, they all got weight, but you don't want that. You don't want them to all have weight. Let me get this old ring on there and I'll show you. And then we'll stick the rest of them on there. That's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm just gonna show you how to how to upgrade your A-Rig. If you want to try it. And I got that dang powder paint on it. And I'm having to stretch it out. And I should have just, I should have kept, I should have just went on and chipped out. Let me just take that off. That old pot of paint is chipped right off. And I'll make a video and show y'all. I'll show y'all how I make my head. I make my own head. I make them with a... I make them with a beast hook. Especially on this thing. If you get two, five, six pounders, boy, ooh, they're going to be pulling. You see what I got on there? Uh-oh, sorry about that. See what I got on there? That's a beast hook, boy. That right there will hold him, boy. I mean, that's a thick hook. That'll hold him right there. Let me, let me get this thing right, and I'll show you. See, I just got my old ring power. Let me get up here where you can see what I'm doing. I got my old ring power. I had the darn things in the boat that's pouring down rain. It got a little rusty. Because I was breaking so many, I was breaking so many hooks at the lake. On these striped bass. I took my old ring to make it fast. Now see, there it is right there. See that? See that? Now you, now you can feel the weight on it. You can feel the weight, but that weight right there will make it run straight. It won't turn. It, it can't turn over because the, all the weight's at the bottom, just like a spinner bait. It won't. It won't roll over. You don't want it to come through the water just turning like that. Because I put them when I first when I first got one. When I first tried to learn how to fish it, they all had the same weight, and it. And when I come through the water, it was just spinning round and round. And that ain't what you want. And I'm telling you, that ain't what you want. Now, I made these myself. See, I made these with a beast hook. See that? And I made them 
I made them heads. You know, that's plastic. They coated and everything. And I put them eyes on there. I'll make a video and show y'all how to do that. And I'm telling you, it ain't no different than the... It ain't no different than molding with lead. It's the same thing. I use the same exact mold. That's why I always tell that bias. I'm telling y'all. Use the same mold and everything. You can mold, you make whatever you want. You make whatever you want. I modified every mold I got. I can take one mold. I take one mold and make five different bait. I make this in a chowder bait. I make this into a swim jig. I make it into a skipping jig. All that. All that with one mold. Because I modified it. I make a spinner bait. I make a buzz bait. And see, to make a buzz bait, all you do is just it just file it flat right there. Just file it flat right there on the bottom right there. Just file it flat. That way when it comes through the water, it picks up on it. That's all you do. I mean, you take one mold and mold everything. Every lure you want. You don't need but one mold. I modified it. I modified them. Just like all my jigging spoon, like that another video I showed you, that little jigging spoon. See, that's the one I made a video about. And I told y'all, boy, you just wind them in. This is one after another. If you want to catch, that's what I use to catch my bait with. But you still can't have more than a limit. But there ain't no limit on them perch no more. They ain't a game fish or nothing no more here. Not here they ain't. They took, they took all that off the game fish list and everything. Just catch all you want now. The lake's just slam full of them. Slam full. I don't know. I don't know why them fish ain't eating them. They don't want to do nothing but chase hair in here. The perch, they want to chase hair. The crappies, they want to chase hair. That's all they all want to eat. Then you got the, then you got them bait men out there every night just getting thousands, just hundreds of dozen. And the herring ain't nothing but babies. They won't even let them grow up. I mean, I don't understand that. They ain't got no regulation on them, boy. They just come every night. I mean, they need to have some kind of regulation on that. Instead of just letting them bait people drive three hours to, to down there just to catch bait. And they'll pass all, and, and they'll pass all them lakes that got herring, but they won't stop there. They go right down there where everybody goes fishing at to catch them herring. They won't let the fish grow. And the people won't let the fish grow either. And I ain't caught one twenty-five pound in years. Years. Because every one bite down there goes home. They they just will. They just refuse to let them grow up. And they'll take them on and have a freezer full. Then at the end of the year, they'll throw them all away and start over. I said, why you destroy the lake like that? I said, y'all ain't doing nothing but destroying the lake for nothing. For absolute nothing. I said, then y'all want to come down here, then y'all want to complain all the time not catching it. Because every time one bite the hook, y'all take home. So the only ones left out here is the one won't bite the won't bite a lure. And you can't make people understand that. No matter what I do, I, I can't make people understand that. I done tried and tried. I get tired of telling people. There ain't nobody gonna listen to nothing I say. Because they don't believe the truth. If I tell them a lie, they believe it. They quit keeping them all that. Boy, they let them grow up. Boy, they be monsters down there. If I just lie. But I can't. I can't. It just ain't in my genes to lie. My daddy never whooped my butt.
Because I wouldn't lie. He told all his friends, hey, Wolf Boy won't lie. So he so you can't make that boy tell a lie. Because I always thought it was stupid. Really? That's stupid to tell people a lie. Try to try to make somebody like you because you're going because you tell them lies all the time. And you can't get no dumber than that. And that's the ones running around with your wife, girlfriend, whatever, all that. Now, I just don't understand nobody. I'm trying to get it. Oh, I ain't even in the camera. I'm sitting here just talking. Now I done dropped it. Uh-oh. Then my big old shoulder, my big old shoulder bumped it when I bent down. I'm trying to keep this phone. I got it. I got it on stand. Let me move over some. All right, let me let y'all see what I'm doing. See? I about got them all already. Let me let y'all watch me with the last one. Because I just got it sitting in my lap till I get the O-ring open. See? Gotta get the O ring open. Just open O ring. And then you gotta then you gotta get all the hooks unhooked from your breeches. Cause these things are sharp. And they won't let go. That's the only thing right there. That's what a beast hook is. Otherwise a beast hook. They won't let go. And then all you do is just stick it right in there. if I can do it up an hour like this. Oh yeah, I got it. I've been trying to make some videos and I try to hold it up like this. I can't hardly get it to work right. Cause I ain't used to that. I just started making videos cause my health's so bad. So messing with my little girl really what started. And see there it is, just like that. See there it is. See that a little bit more wider. That's a little bit more wide than these because these here's old. But that don't matter. That don't even matter. But I got the heavy one down here. See it? Don't matter how you turn it, see? Don't matter what I do. It falls back straight, see? See, watch it. See? See how it just sits there? Because you got the weight, that's just the law of gravity. So I got a quarter ounce on this one. It's the only one that's got any lead on it. The rest of them plastic. The rest of them don't weigh nothing. It feels like a feather. Just that one right there. The run just like a just like a spinner bait or a buzz bait or any kind of bait. You know, that's the reason you got the lead like that. It makes it run straight. Just like that. It makes it run straight like that. That's the way you want it. You want it to go through the water just like that. You want it to go straight. You don't want it turning, going side to side, twisting up on the side. But see, with that lead on there, it won't twist its side like that. It's going to run straight up and down just like that. See? It ain't going to run like that because that's that's not the bottom. The bottom's right there. And it's going to run straight just like that. And you want it to run perfectly straight. I don't want it doing all that turning. I want it to just run straight. So when one comes up and grabs it, nothing come up and grab it, nothing come up and grab it. I caught two the other day at one time. All right, that's it right there. That's the, that's that's the way I do May rig. Just put your swim baits on there. I know you know how to put a swim bait on there. There ain't no sense in me sitting here doing all that. Because I, I know you know how to do that. But I was just showing you, that's how you rig it. That's how I rig it. See it? Put them stainless steel oil rings on there. Hint, them stripers ain't going to break that. See there? Them stripers ain't going to break that. And let me show you this right here. And look at that. Me just took it off. Look at it. See how it's bent? Look at that. It just bent. Me taking it off. It's so it's so weak. And you and if you leave that on there, now you're gonna break them off. You're gonna break them off with that little piece of wire. You get two of them, you're gonna break them off, boy. You're gonna be sick. You're gonna like, boy, I had two. I had two five or six pounds. And broke them both off. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Every more to come. I was just showing y'all why I'm doing this. While I'm doing it, I was making, I was, I was uh, redoing this one. This one here is the first one I ever bought in my life. And so I was redoing it because I had them wires on there. See, them wires are still on there. I hadn't changed it because I was just seeing if they'd heat it first. And I had never caught a bass with that. But now, now, see, now I got this one. And I want it small like that, so I just made, I make my own. I'll show you.
I'll show you where I make my own. You got to keep it from twisting like that without doing that. Because my head, my head is, my head is like that. But I got the weight just like that. See how that, it got a big bulge down here. It makes it run straight because the heavy weight is going to stay at the bottom. And the little thin part is going to stay at the top. That's the law of gravity. So it just runs straight just like that. Mine just runs straight like that. But I was just showing you, though, this one's laying there. So I said, I think I'll just go ahead and put this one together. Because I got plenty of hooks and all. So I did. That's why I'm put it together. I just want, I'm going to take it out there and see if it hit it. All right. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.